Hello! That was a weird start. I hit start stream and it just didn't start for like 40 seconds. I wonder, is it delayed? I don't think it's delayed. Hey, hey everyone, what's up Fabs? How you doing? What's up local? What's up Chappie? Uh, Ying, what's up? Disguise, how you doing? Wobbly? Not today. Twitch streak? Not today. What's up Doc Father? Hi gang, what's up work? How's the camera going? Uh, unfortunately, um... Bad news. Oh shit, League of Legends is open in the background. I hear the birds chirping. Hold on, let me exit this thing, guys. One second. That's embarrassing. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the camera doesn't uh, doesn't work still. Leica or Fuji? I mean, Leica doesn't really do video. So right now it's just Fuji. Uh, but yeah, I am using the Sony still. I edited the colors a little bit. It, it just straight does not work. Also, let me know if the music's too loud, guys. So yeah, the, the cameras don't work still after everything. They were working for like all 20 minutes. And I don't know, I called Fuji up. The first person on the phone basically said, Arrow, thank you so much for the prime, I appreciate it. Our child it is now five months the old. The camera died. So here's what happened. Fuji, uh, I have the Fuji cameras behind me, but they answered the phone. The lady said, listen, here's what the lady said. She's like, listen, it sounds like it's a sensor issue. Um, the colors are different. Yeah, the colors are very different. She's like, it sounds like it's a sensor issue. Um, she, she said, I think possibly it's going to be $1,200 to $1,500 each. Because I have two broken Fuji cameras. And I'm like, well, that's crazy. Um, that is worth more than one of the cameras, like brand new. So she said she's not sure. Um... She told me that someone was calling me back in an hour and then nobody called me back all day. I tried calling again and it went straight to voicemail. It said they're just too busy. If they don't call me back within the next few days, class, is it really? It, like, have you guys dealt with Fuji before? Like their, their help system? Yeah, I don't know. At this point here, do they know right now? It doesn't matter. Is usually really good or bad? I have no idea. This is my first time ever dealing with them. Um, we'll see. I am not sure. New camera mini subathon. The new, I looked into like a new Fuji. They finally have stock of some of the cheaper ones though, and it's gonna be about twelve hundred dollars before tax. So the problem is your sensor is perfectly fine. Either it's a firmware issue or something else, but regardless, you can't break the set the sensor unless you've been touching it aggressively. Um from what I understand, I was reading up a little bit on other people's issues. It's the thank first. you so much, Zany. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, man. Um, so basically, from what other people said in different forums, is it is the sensor. It just overheats and dies. Wow, four months already super thank you, excited Megan, I appreciate for Friday. It. Honestly, can't wait. Thank you, thank you. K KD, thank you so much for the tier three. I thank you, man. Um... So yeah, it's a uh, it's unfortunate. Um, I'm hoping it's not the sensor. Maybe it's cheaper, but they don't know. Like they can't know until they send it in. But at least I want an accurate quote of like worst case scenario. Either way, you're probably gonna be expensive fix. So whatever. I mean, whatever. We have the Sony camera working right now. It's all right. The colors are kind of shit coming out of it, but it's just a face cam. Whatever. It is what it is. Real Scrubs, thank you so much for the tier one. Wow, 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 I'm so pumped for the 65. Let's go, I can finally loop, finish looping my switches. So sorry to hit with the camera. It is what it is. It's a work thing, I wow, guess. Wow, 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 I am so pumped for the 65. It, it Let's go, I can finally finish looping my switches. Hey, yo, So dude. sorry to hear about the cameras, though, frown. It is what it is. I, I mean, we'll see. Also, our dang, I'm using your cup. Oh wait, this is a bad viewpoint of this. 60 feet, let's go. <laughs> Our dang gave me a cup. It's a lens. <laughs> I'm using it. I also have one that Alpha gave me. It's really cool, but that one there, I'm too nervous to use the, um, what's it called? Uh, AeroPress on it. So I haven't, I haven't, uh, I haven't used it. Also AeroPress, best investment, bro. Absolutely best investment. It's like what, 30 bucks? It's crazy. Coward, honestly I am. It's all, it's all heat. You were so hot. Oh my God, slow Corey. Thank you guys. I appreciate the subs. Love my OPress. It's so wow. good. Wow. You just look so wow. Every Keyboard time is outdated. I see you, oh, wow. you just make me go I wow. Forgot. I forgot to update that one there. It's okay. We have the build command updated and we have the 65 title up right now. 
Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. Also, I don't know if Cass wants me to read all of this on, on stream. Bro, can I show you guys something real quick? Your XE4 is here? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Look at this. Look what Cass made. <laughs> so t it's me holding the keyboard with the sticker. <laughs> it's so dumb, dude. This is super awesome. You know what? Maybe we'll put one in a random build commission for May. We'll put one in a May build commission. It's peak. We need to go deeper. He also sent the most heartfelt note ever, and I don't know if he wants me to read it on stream, but thank you so much, Cass. I, I, I read it five or ten minutes before stream started, and it made me so happy, dude. Uh, Alexception, I need more levels to this. Yo, maybe we'll put it in the build today. Actually, no, I have to take pictures of it. Never mind, we're not gonna put it in the build today. What board is that, though? I think this was a, uh, was this Kenny's? Was this Kenny's build? What was it again? Shit, no, I don't remember. Was it a Kohaku? No, it wasn't a Kohaku. I actually don't remember what it was. Adam, stop it. Looks like the Ori CLS is one of your faves so far. I love this thing. I think it's just the overall sound signature of this. It was a Kohaku, right? Yeah, I was gonna say, I was, I, I'm like, I'm pretty positive it was Kenny's Kohaku. All right, okay. I think everyone's here for the 65, not to hear me chat anyways, so. Uh, we're gonna be building the new Mode 65. This is, I am sponsored by Mode, all right? Just so everyone's aware, that's never gonna stop me from saying my opinion, you know? So just so everyone's aware, uh, they are letting me, I believe I'm keeping this for review purposes. I, I'm not too sure the thing there, but just so everyone's aware, I, I wanna make it clear. That doesn't affect my opinion or anything. You guys know I like doing that kind of stuff. Glowing review incoming. Okay, Yoshi. We have some mode stabs they sent us. I'm actually still considering whether to use the mode stabs or the night stabs. Oh, you know what else we got sent to? Just so we can take a look at everything. Bro, switch keys hooked it up and they actually sent over a new brush. This is my favorite brush for, for looping switches. This guy, this particular thick brush. Yeah, we'll see which one we do. I noticed you do a very specific typing pattern. Um, is there a story behind it? Yeah, this is how I type normally. So this is how I, I type on a regular basis. Like when I'm thinking, like, I don't know, let's just type in like. That's the speed I type at and nobody wants to hear that. I used to type like that during sound tests and everyone, yeah, basically everyone gave me resident sleeper emotes. So I just type in, I love you guys over and over again and I spam random things. Um, to kind of get the cadence of someone going normal typing speed. But, uh, yeah, I got a nickname when I first started the, the hobby, which was T-Rex Typer, because I type with, like, three fingers. But whatever, man, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> uh, I type emails out on my sound test because I type faster when I know what I want to type. I mean, yeah, that's, that's true, too. That's true. Also, I think someone mentioned uh, build commissions earlier. You can just use the forum. Uh, if you have any questions, DM me on Discord. Honestly, the best place to reach me for that kind of stuff. All right. We also have one of the weights. I can't remember all the stuff they sent over because it's been a while since we spoke about this. So I guess we'll we'll take a look. Is there a hair on that? And then we have some of the accents, which we'll take a look at afterwards. Foam kit. Probably not going to use that today. And I don't even remember what color weight this or color weight this is. Is the weight? 250? Adam, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. All right. Seeing fast sound tests with 100% accuracy scares me. Yeah, it's actually crazy, dude. Have I ever used Sony before? Yeah, I used to shoot with Sony a long time ago. Um, So, I guess before opening this, you know what I want to do with you guys first? So nice. Keepscape. Six months. Thanks, Hold man. Me. Appreciate that, dude. Uh, We're going to go over. Mm, did it not work? Oh, my gosh. Hello? Does it not want to, where is it? Hold on one second, guys. My window capture is, is gone. Oh my gosh. One second, guys. Uh... Oh, it doesn't have a name. Okay, never mind. We're going to go over this. 
because you know what? I always get slack for not showing my screen and this time I'm gonna show my screen. Adam for mod, let's not start that today, Chappy. Uh, so we have lots of different colors for this, by the way. I think today we're doing silver. Um, you know, in hindsight, maybe I should have asked for polycarbonate top. I totally forgot this had a polycarb top and it's pretty good, dude. It looks great. But yeah, we're doing silver, I think, today. The polycarb does add $15, so this starts at $250. Polycarb starts, uh, adds an extra $15, which is fine. $264 is still not bad. And then for the bottom case, depending on what you go here, you could ball out and go copper or brass. That makes this board extra expensive. Um, I don't know. I think maybe we're doing silver mirror today. I think that's what we got sent. I'm pretty sure. Or maybe we got sent copper. I can't remember. I asked for one of the two. I personally would probably go for a silver mirror finish or just even the polycarb bottom seems kind of fun. But these all add extra costs. It does seem like black is the only one that adds no extra cost because everything else is going to be e-coded, which again, makes sense. The, the brass and copper though, they are crazy, crazy extra on top of that. Now this is what I like. I like the inclusion. Can I get to the back over here? Is it going to change? Yeah. They have a maple and a walnut this time. I kind of like the wood accents. It kind of adds something to it. Like it looks good. And I think for me, I, oh yeah, I remember why. I think I liked the silver better with the wood accent. That is super cool. And then you have your brass, multicolor, fluted copper. The fluted copper is actually really cool. Can't really tell too well in these photos, but I'll show you guys in person because I think they sent one over. Um, and then we have black mirror, which these probably, I would, I mean, even the bottom silver mirror, I'm kind of eh on mirror finish stuff lately. So I just think it looks nice. Perhaps I still would probably go with the polycarb bottom if I had to re-pick things here. And then you have different color weights. Um, so this is going to change the circle. I don't know how I feel about some of these color combos. I think the Dawn, like the base one, probably will end up looking good with just about everything. Um, so, but yeah, it, I mean the copper, yeah, just so you guys understand, the copper is gigantic. So it makes a lot of sense. And then you have black or gray feet. In this case here, I'd pick gray. I'm, um, I'm a little sad the aluminum plate costs an extra 10 bucks. I was kind of hoping this time here they would put aluminum in line with FR4, or not even maybe FR4, but at least in line with like Palm. But it is nice to see Palm 20 bucks. And then you have a copper plate, which is crazy. Uh, they have polypropylene, which is awesome. And then they have polycarb, which Yo, is awesome. Yo, the new mode looks nice. Thanks, Still Sivo. miss the Oc version with the full accent. Back. I was going to break it out today, but I don't have switches in mind. I didn't feel like rebuilding it. Oh, they have nylon too. Dude. I forgot they have nylon. That's kind of nice. And then you can choose no PCB, but I don't know. I don't, I guess if you have a PCB, that kind of makes sense. Um, and then you can do combinations here by adding keycaps and stuff, which we're not going to do. But yeah, I mean, it looks like starting is going to be 249. If you really want to go crazy with this, let's see, what can we get this to? What's the highest I can make this cost? Appreciate what you do for the hobby. Thank you, Crydar. Got your videos playing in the BG whenever I work. Thanks, man. I appreciate Much that, love. Dude. Alex uh, Zot love. Bro, I, I appreciate the 100 bits, and I appreciate you being here, man. Missed my hydrate? One second. So you can make this go to $609. So it starts at $249, or you can make it go all the way to $249, or um, $609. Pretty, pretty crazy, but uh, I'm excited to take a look at the board. I am, I made sure to bring my measuring tape because I don't know what the front height is and we gonna measure it today. All right, I guess let's take out the board. Oh, and as per your guys all request, we are gonna be using this, milky yellows. Also, I think my, oh, is my, Twitch being weird today? Oh, whatever. I don't think the face zooms are gonna work today. I think my, I think Streamlabs is being weird today. Milky yellows, I, I spent all day doing these. I ended up not spring swapping because I really liked the stock spring. I actually had springs I bought for this and I, I was like, you know what? I kind of like the way these feel, so. 
You guys all asked for it, so. Uh, Milk Yellow, one to 10. They're at like a nine out of 10 for me, man. Very excited to see what sounds come from this. Yeah, because I feel like, I feel like everyone else might be using all the mode included stuff and I kind of wanted to break the cycle a little bit and use non-mode included stuff like Adron Milky Yellows. So we have an aluminum plate, cool. Definitely getting a set. Oh, of the Milky Yellows, we have a polycarbonate. Damn, which plate should I use today? I am using the stock springs. I actually quite like them. We have syringe lube, which we'll keep to the side. Smoothies soon. Thank you, before upside down face, bro. I think I have enough of these, but you know what? And then we have a PCB. I think it is hot swap. I did. I think I did ask for hot swap just so we can test other things in this. Upside down face. Hype to see the color you get. Pretty positive it's silver, but I don't know. Let's double check. Designing my own board? Ooh, that's gonna be fun. When's the Alex Otos edition coming out? Um, I, I'm not making, well, not to my knowledge. I'm not making a Alex Otos edition of the 65. No, no colorway on this. So here is the copper, I guess, weight and set there. Ooh, they went with the multicolored cables in this. Screws. We have both color feet, which I think you would have to pick one or the other when you guys order. And then we have all the different types of, what are they called again? Um, oh my gosh. Why am I blanking? Lattice mounts. The, la the lettuce. Okay, we're gonna put all this stuff back for now just so I don't lose it. Ketchup and mustard cables, oh baby. You know what, I'm kinda here for it. All right, let's see what I got here. Let's see what we're working with. Okay, we got silver and copper. Ooh, that is gonna look quite nice. Damn. This copper is very, very well done. fingerprints on it now, but it's okay. I touched it already. Silver like just anodized. Yeah, silver top, copper bottom it looks like. Um, damn, I might ask them if they can shoot over a PC bottom as well, because I'm kind of curious to see what an alu top and PC bottom sounds like. But I'm also curious to see what a PC top and copper bottom looks like and sounds like. Very, very pretty though. I like the, okay, just from a design standpoint here, what I actually really like is the thinner side bezels here. That I appreciate a lot. Um, and before I go too far in this, let's actually put the feet on. Oh, my camera is not liking this. Oh, is my stream deck not working now? I think my stream deck is just not working. That's annoying. Uh, side camera, I'll just do it all manually today. So hyped for this build. ZX, thank you, you man. Alex. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people are really excited for this, so. Wasn't planning on dropping $200 on copper, but I, now I think I will. I would, I would, again, guys, my thing is always gonna be don't buy beyond your means. But if, if you really like the board, like this ends up sounding good, you know, do whatever you guys wanna do with however you guys wanna spend your money, but just uh, be cautious with your spending. No, they're pushing feet. They are just simple push-in feet. They're non-adhesive. I much appreciate this. And look how simple this is too. Push-in feet to me are just nicer. Um, again, my reasoning why I like push-in feet. I have so many custom feet where they just kind of fall off and then I have to use some sort of glue or just some other stuff. And yeah, it is not a good time. Very pretty. Side profile, if you guys wanna see. This is without me putting the accent and stuff on. That copper looking really damn nice. It is very well finished. But for 200 extra dollars, I'd hope so. Looks like mode's not gonna disappoint there. 
We have our hot swap PCB. Actually, let's see what accents we got in the box too. I don't think I'm gonna use the foam kit today though, guys. Um, we'll open it up later on. I don't think I'm gonna use it, but we'll see. All right. I don't know. I think this might be the copper accent. Based off that colorway, that would look great with GMK Modern Materials. It just so happens the guy who designed that is in chat. And also, Zen, thank you so much for that resub too. I appreciate it, guys. Oh, this is the fluted copper one. I appreciate the uh, protective packaging on this. Ooh, this is really pretty. Oh, this is like a nice feel to it too. You know, if you had to go for anything copper on the board, the fluted piece is quite pretty. They did some um, pretty nice machining on this. Ooh, this is really pretty. I'll have to get some like macro shots of how the, the side profile of this even looks. Look at that. That is so pretty. Boy, thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate you, dude. The lines on it are cool. So this just, what, clips on over here and it goes this way. Magnetic, no wobble like the old 65. The old 65 had a, sometimes you get a slight bend and they kind of counteracted it this time by making it a little bit smaller. Tap it. Nope. But look at that. That does add something to the bottom over here too, the back rather. That actually looks, Oh, my camera does not like this, but here, we'll do this. That is very pretty with the copper. Maybe too orange. I mean, copper has a bit of orange to it. Copper is going to be a bit orange. It might also be my camera affecting a little bit of copper. Oh, is there a bit of an anno hook there? A little bit of an anno hook on the inside. Or maybe not an anno hook, maybe that's from the clear coat rather, where they had to hook it to clear coat it or something. I don't know why I said anno, clear coat. It's from your fingy, it could also be my fingerprint. What's this? You know what? There's a lot of cool combinations. I, I agree, maybe the polycarbonate top would have looked super dope with this, but oh, this is the maple accent. Or yeah, the maple, right? Wait, this will look really cool too. Oh, do I like the wood a little bit more? I kind of do, man. I don't know if this color scheme goes well with the copper bottom, but... Oh, that kind of goes pretty hard. Low-key, I like this a little bit more. I like the wood accent a little bit more. I'm gonna be ignoring Adam all night long today. It's gonna be a wild ignore Adam stream. This is the maple, yeah. The double copper was too much. I kind of like the wood, but the fluted copper is really pretty. Very, very pretty. Yeah, the wood accents, I mean, obviously this will be covered up with keycaps. This kind of makes it a little bit more, uh, what's a good word to use? It's not as like aggressive. It's kind of adds a little bit of more of like a, a natural kind of feel to it, I guess. Uh, what do we got here? We have some of the white stuff. Uh, where's my tweezers? Naturally, yeah, it's a bit more natural. Softer tones, yeah. Why is Adam, how is Adam? Are you ignoring me because it's a sponsored stream? Honestly, the answer is no to that um, because I've had plenty of other sponsored streams where I give in to you, but I'm gonna be 100, Adam. We're gonna get into a long, like 40 minute debate about stuff and just being silly with each other and we're gonna forget to build the keyboard. And today I wanna build the keyboard. It's, no it's nothing to do with that kind of stuff. We're just gonna get lost in the sauce of making fun of each other and then forget that we have to do other things. Why is this package so hard to get out? So do you hate him? Oh my God, Zuan. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, we got the matching. Silver? Oh, this is the, oh, I see how this is. Oh, this will look kind of pretty. I, too, I'm kind of scared to put this in right now, but obviously we have to put the other accent in there. Oh, 
I kind of like the silver there. The mirrored silver looks nice. You can charge your phone with that. I'm just gonna leave this here. Although it does seem pretty prone to fingerprints. I'm gonna leave that there for now. We'll, we'll figure that out later. Yeah, I'll do that later. All right, let's put this to this side. And I guess let's start our stabilizers. This is the copper bottom. It's pretty heavy. We'll get the weight later. Mag safe. My mag safe stuff from my phone has been acting up lately. Ball spin. Motor really knows how to design their boards. To be honest, um, I really liked the tempo. However, I think the loop was a little bit out of my genre of like what I prefer. Um, but only on February 31st. What's up, Chris? The loop is a little bit out of my, not comfort zone, but it just, it, the loop is something I probably wouldn't keep on my desk. Um, it wasn't my particular aesthetic choice. It could be someone else's. Please don't get it twisted. Like, you know, like, oh, I don't like the loop. The loop is still nice. It was a good sounding keyboard. I like the implementation of what they did with the, the, the mounting system there. Oh, by the way, should I use night stabs today? My last set, because I used another pair doing testing today. Or would you guys just want the mode stabs? I'm only asking because I know some people might, I guess, uh, add these on to their purchase. So we could use the mode. We have tons of keywords for the night stabs. So it seems like a lot of people want the mode stabs. All right. How would you compare this to previous mode boards or to keyboards like the Unicorn or Kohaku? So this might be a controversial take. While I think the Unicorn and Kohaku are excellent keyboards, um, it's all a matter of taste. And there are gonna be people who look at the Unicorn and the Kohaku and be like, why on earth do people like those? Like some people might think they're overhyped, whatever. The same could be said about mode because there are people who really like their mode keyboards. There are people who really like the, the novel keys stuff. I don't know, like you're always gonna get camps of people who prefer things. Um, I think the unicorn is cool. The Kohaku is great. Obviously there's a bit of an accessibility issue getting those, uh, for, you know, for certain people, it's become a little bit of a collector's item in a lot of more than a lot of ways. Um, you know, if your idea is you want something like that, you want, the, uh, you want to kind of follow that hype in a way too, and also get a, a solid keyboard too then yeah, maybe you go with something like that, but they're all gonna have a slight different mounting style, right? Like this uses something completely different than the Kohaku, which uses something different than the Unicorn. So it, it's it's not so much that you can compare them. Um, I mean, recently the Kohaku, the Kohakus have been just so popular, I'd say. Uh, the Unicorn's classic kind of O-ring at this point here. We really like it. I think a lot of people do. Actually, we'll just do this. Alex Odo's Kohaku Wen? Probably never. I'm not that popular. Uh, I'm wondering if I should replace this with my Envoy. I don't think this is going to be an Envoy replacement, if you want my honest opinion. It might be for some people who want the more premium looking board, because I think the Envoy was a good kind of foray into the, the uh, what's it called? Um style of mounting, the lettuce mounts that they use. It's a very interesting kind of leap into it. I want to use the new brushes from Switch Keys. Dude, this is my favorite brush again. Again, thank you so much to Switch Keys. I don't talk about them enough, but they've always been like really cool little company. I know they're, uh, I think they're Australia based though. So they're a little bit opposite side of the world, but love them. Um, <sighs> what are you guys talking about, dude? Uh, apologies for asking things unrelated, but when you built the Event Horizon, hold on, I scrolled down. You used a very nice set of keycaps with the F off. The F off one was D brand. And then uh, it was the D brand one that was on novel keys for a bit. And then uh, the other one was just Boneyard. The customization is like a blessing and a curse. You want to get all the stuff you think you'll like and then your wallet will cry. Well, that's the other thing that Mode has going for them too. They have a pretty solid uh, website that allows you to customize things too. And it's just kind of, again, it's accessible. And I think where it kind of differs from something like other brands is mode also 
to my knowledge, and again, my dealings with them might be a bit skewed, but from what I've heard from you guys, Moat's customer service and customer support is also top notch. So you're also, you know, I'm not saying that Singa isn't, Singa is pretty good with everything I'd say too, Elaine does a great job, but compared to maybe some other brands, Moat does a pretty good job for stuff within our niche of a hobby. Can we have a poll for Encore versus Envoy versus 65v1v2? V2? Oh, that's a lot of stuff. I should have unscrewed these first. You know what? I'm gonna unscrew them first. If I had to make one small itsy bitsy criticism to the mode stabs, it's so insignificant though. I just wish these things weren't screwed in already. I don't see a purpose of having them screwed in. I know, I think Gatoron does this too, where they have them screwed in immediately. But uh, what the hell, Angel? We should do a poll to see if Alex should wear his glasses or not for the rest of the stream. Do you guys want me to build a keyboard? That's the real question at that point. Do you want a keyboard build to get done? Yes or no? Guys, I can see up to here. Hold on, let me show you guys. I can see up to here. Mm, here, I can see this far. If I put my glasses off, this is how far I could see. Just sense the parts. What am I, like the Spider-Man of keyboards? That's all you need to see. Oh my God, Angel, please, dude. I kind of like that they're installed already. I happen to find, put the little O-rings on. Uh, I can see it from your perspective as well. I don't know. I kind of feel like this is an unnecessary step I'm doing right now. Again, so insignificant. I guess so they can make sure they put enough screws in the box. However, maybe give me some extra screws because I'm going to drop a couple for sure. Dude, I... I have a fluffy carpet in the other room and I dropped a spring. I was trying to fix my girlfriend's pen. I dropped a spring uh, earlier today and oh my God, it took forever to find that thing. When things get lost in a fluffy carpet, it's gone forever, I swear to God. This is actually uh, needs to be a subathon activity. You build a board without glasses. You know what, dude, for the next one we will, okay? We'll put that as a, we'll put that as a top notch contender. I started watching Madame Web today. Lego, you're doing yourself a, a big disservice, I think. Uh, Lego, I, I don't know, Lego. That movie was something else, man. This is gonna be hilarious. Oh, that's gonna be hilarious. Okay, we will do it next time. Anyone watch Far Cry? Yeah, did anyone end up watching the Far Cry movie? Like I suggest it? Did anyone end up sitting down and watching it for the, the, I guess, two hours? I'm actually so curious. <clears throat> I would love to get the silver accent, send it down, uh, send it down and coat the service with bismuth crystals. Oh, that'd be interesting. I actually don't know what those look like. I'm assuming what they're just like normal crystals. The cuts in Madame Web were hilarious. Yeah, it felt weird. Cinematically, it did not feel good. Yeah, Logan, that one there. At least if you don't wear gla glasses, Greg would look fine. I think Greg would look creepier, wouldn't he? Also, what keycaps am I pairing with the mode board today? I don't even know. I read that to myself, Salem. So Alex, I have to ask, when your glasses are off, you don't notice your desk crooked? Dude, I, I feel like I'm hoping one day we just forget about this. Just like forget about the desk joke. <laughs> Can we get a marble test in the smiling desk again? Oh, here we go, dude. Here we go. Let's see, I wanna see this, Andy. It's not a joke. Oh, these kind of crystals. Oh, that actually would be interesting. I've seen these. We just need to ban everyone to start over with a new chat. <laughs> yeah, dude, I should just go faceless streamer, get a new desk and call it a day. <laughs> uh, what's happier, Alex or his desk? Oh my God, dude, way too lucky. Where did you come up with that? Alex should sail his desk on the open seas. <laughs> Fuck, man. The list of Alex, list of shit Alex just needs to fix is getting long. What else do I need to fix? 
Wait, I died reading that. <laughs> Mode fix the bend on the 65 accent. You should try to fix your desk. Bro, why is this getting so personal right now? That's crazy. I don't even know what to say, dude. Was this a roast? I, I don't know when this turned into one. Mode needs to re design a board just for you and your desk. Fuck. Uh, why is this a bully Alex stream? Camera is broken, desk is broken, bro. You guys are making me feel things and they're not good. <laughs> when should I, pr Alex, should I purchase the protagonist? I don't know yet because I have not built it, built it yet. I think I'm gonna be building it soon. Start a special group of mods that uh, of the Alex Odo's Inquisition. Anyone who mentions the desk Hello, is immediately Alex. granted as a heretic What's and sent to be on hyperglide switches. Also, your desk is fine as is. Oh my God, Chuck. Hey, Chuck is getting a VIP today. You know what? Chuck, oh, Chuck loves food. VIP for Ch uh, for Chuck today, until I forget, or I guess until I remember to take it off. Thank you, Chuck. I appreciate you, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Um, my opinion on hyperglides is they're just okay. I think broken in hyperglides are not my thing at all. Um, I think hyperglides can sound good, but you need to do the works to them to sound good. I, I, I'm talking about like spring swapping, um, looping them obviously and then filming them so i i personally think nixies are just a better cherry switch but s some people will disagree it's all a personal preference thing at the end of the day don't forget what's a man gonna do for vip around here did mike save you a set of new data i don't remember i know i'm getting something else soon but i'll show you guys some other stuff soon from novel keys when i'm allowed to Go fix his cameras, Adam? Yeah, true. There you go. That's how you get VIP. You fix my cameras. I like Hyperglide Blacks with Medium Spring and like Double Stage. Yeah, I think they can be really good switches. Um, but you need, to, you need to absolutely mod them. Like, or else they kind of sound sort of thin, you know? All right. Cool, cool, cool. I've been uh, vibing with these lately. Nixies and these. Um, I really like them in this board. The Ori has Gatoron Milky Yellows. Also partly why I have this on my desk right now. Because I thought it'd be fun to compare. But, I don't know, Milky Yellows are kind of hot, dude. They're kind of nice. I feel like they don't get you enough, uh, they don't, they don't get enough people talking about them. These are the pro ones, yeah. So these are pros. Which is probably why I didn't mind the spring in these compared to the other ones. The other ones can have poopy springs. I should totally check the PCB to make sure that it has compatibility for everything I'm building today, but oh well. What the hell, Zoto? I love Milky Yellows. I'm about to put them in a build for a friend. They're so good. Milky Yellows are good. Honestly, Gator on cap switches, I feel like are underrated. A lot of good stuff. Why do you like Nixies so much more than Hyperglides if they're so similar? Okay, the milky top on hyper or um, Nixies versus the hyperglides makes a big difference to me. I've heard some people say that the milky or sorry the milky tops don't make a big difference. I think they add a little bit of like undertoned bass kind of to the whole switch. Similar, oh my god, slow Corey. Uh, they kind of add like a, a bass to the switch, which I think is quite nice. Yeah, it's a little pizzazz. Maybe it's a good way to put it at them. Yeah. But I think it kind of adds this, this base. And because it adds that, it makes this switch feel like it has more of like a uniqueness and a presence. The hyperglides otherwise sort of sound thin on particular boards. I think that's kind of my quarrel with the hyperglides. I have a switch for you. Gatoron Cap V2 Milky Browns. See, this is what I'm talking about, dude. Gatoron Cap switches have some interesting ones. It's like that time I found Gatoron Cap, I was recommended actually, Gatoron Cap inks. They make ink version of the Gatoron Caps. And I saw, I, I really want to try Gatoron Cap Milky Yellows. 
like, actually, you know what? I'm gonna buy them tonight. I need I need another set of milky switches, like milky yellows. So maybe we do the Gatoron cap milky yellows. Uh, there's de definitely varying opinions of the Hyperlads and Nixies. I think the main thing is that the price difference between the two of them. What is, it, what is the price difference again between the two? I have gotten all of them on sale. So I think the only batch I, I didn't get on sale was the big batch that Mike had sent me originally because Mike sent them to me, but every other batch I've just purchased via sale. Since you use dielectric grease on the wires, when you syringe in additional lube, does it have to be the same? I do not put the same lube in when I syringe in extra stuff. I have heard from people in the past that it's not good to kind of do that. However, from my own personal experience and from what other people tell me, which is conflicting of that, um, it's fine to mix. In fact, I th I've been mixing 205 and dielectric specifically from Loctite for the last like two and a half years. And there are certain boards I've used to this day that feel great still. It really depends on what you're doing. So nice. Who did that? Snoop, thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate you, dude. Hope you're having a good one today, man. NK has the Gat Milky Cap Yellows V1s on clearance. Are the V1s problematic though? I can't remember if V1s are. I think they should be fine, right? Because I think Gat Caps are on V2 though. I don't remember. I wish you would mix with me, god damn. But yeah, V1s suck bad. Yeah, I don't, I, I can't, I think I remember V1s having problems. That's why I said I think they're problematic. I just can't really remember. I would probably stick with the V2s. Again, I know I work for Novel Keys and I probably shouldn't, you know, whatever. I would probably still stick with the V2s. I don't know how good the V1s are. Um, I've never used the V1s, so. Place your AirPods on the charger. They're right next to you. Uh, does that make you happy, Adam? They're not gonna charge. All right, let's, uh, let's do this guy. Move some of these empty boxes over to the side. <laughs> What's you clip? I'll take a look at that afterwards. <laughs> MagSafe, go dummy. Thanks, BB. It's on the other side. Oh, okay, my bad. I'll flip it over later. <laughs> Plug in the charger first, silly. Oh my goodness. Is there an advantage to using dielectric grease on the wires versus 205? Yes. In some cases. With particular stabs that have larger gaps, um, filling it in with 205 ends up settling quicker. So me personally, I, I would never um, never do like a Duroc stab. I wouldn't even yes, do the mode stabs with 205 strictly because there's there's not as tight as a tolerance as something like a Staby or a TX stab, uh, which, which you can get away with just using 205 and it should last just as long. But these will settle. The dielectric doesn't settle. So it, nice. Loctite dielectric. Um, so I would personally use dielectric on particular stabs with not as tight of a tolerance. Also, uh, notice sounds and face Tato. Thank you so much for the prime for four months and 11 months. I, pre I appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you guys. I did re-lube these. I lubed, filmed, and then touched up the springs because they felt like there was no oil on the spring at all for these. All right. So this is actually one small point of criticism. Um, and ac it, this actually goes back to uh, a board that I built a few weeks ago uh, where I actually desoldered these because you have to actually remove these by desoldering them or pushing it through with a soldering iron. I don't know how possible this is and maybe some people won't care about this, but some people actually said they noticed their keyboard sounded a slight bit better without these posts over here. Now, they're hot swap posts. I don't think the solderable PCB would have this. I think there's an option for solderable. I can't remember now. Perhaps uh, letting us screw these in ourselves would be nice. Um, I think that would be a nice little option. So again, maybe a small takeaway for this PCB if Mode wants to do this in the future. Again, I, I, I don't know how many people this affects, but just the option to screw these in opposing to push it through with the soldering iron because some people don't have them. Uh, 
I totally, yeah, I totally get the standouts help a lot of beginners, but I think uh, the ability to screw them in rather than just have them there permanently might be a nice option for maybe the more enthusiast uh, crowd. But again, very small. They're, just, they're hot swap standoffs. It's so the board doesn't, like the PCB doesn't fall through, which by the way, small little rant, um, if you are going to install anything on a hot swap sockets with any keyboard, I would take it out of the keyboard and support the sockets. I'm sure every company would appreciate this. Uh, you know, at Novel Keys, we have this a lot too. I've had to make videos on it. People don't do that because, you know, they think it's safe to do. I mean, a lot of people don't tell you it's not safe. Like even some of the more beginner keyboards, like outside of the more niche stuff of the hobby. Um, support your sockets. The last thing you want to do is damage something and then have to either buy a PCB or wait for a new one to come in. So even though it has these, again, they're, they might be nice to have for some people for, for alignment purposes as well. I would still 100% support your sockets that's it don't that's my speech what mic am i using mkh416 by sennheiser the sockets don't support me why should i support them that is you know i can't argue with that logic at this point here that logic is quite sound that's it. Let's make it sockets uh support your sockets a message from alex <laughs> I'll leave the standoffs in. I think it'd be better to use it with. Although I'm still not certain what plate I want to use. I'm thinking aluminum today. I'm thinking alu would be great today. How, does this, uh, how do you support sockets? You know the easiest way to support sockets that you don't even really need to think too much about it? Because I see some people doing it. I'm not saying this is the wrong way, but I think it's a little bit awkward. Easiest way is just get a soft desk pad, lay it down, pushing your switches with your plate. Easiest way. Um, some people do it like this per switch with their, their finger. I think that's a little tedious. Um, everyone's a little different, but yeah, you can even technically do it on a table. I just prefer to do it on a softer desk pad. I feel like I'm gonna ruin my table if I do that because this is not a mode thing, but Kale recently, I, again, I still don't understand this change. Kale recently, and these are Kale hot swap sockets, yeah. They introduced this extra piece of metal and they like, they're so sharp. They're so sharp, dude. I don't really get why Kale put that extra piece of metal. Like to this day, I have a hard time understanding it. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. Kale, I don't know what you're doing. So nice. MP, thank you so much for the tier one. Thank you, thank you, dude. Uh, I broke one of them uh, off in panic. Oh yeah, they, they do nothing. They used to not have them. I swear to God, they used to not have them. Like, I don't know if it's just like a fever dream at this point here, but I'm pretty positive they did not have them at one point. It's like, it was part of their, when, when they came out with their new iteration of sockets, or just, I feel like when, they just randomly switched it one day. It ruined the edge of my desk mat? Yeah. They're so sharp. And I think some of the other brands I saw, like they've adopted that now too, which is strange. The Ori is so hot. Dude, the Ori is beauty looking. It's it's gorgeous. You know who else is gorgeous? Orum. Orum, always looking beautiful. I can't click the face zooms right now because my stream deck's acting up. But I appreciate you. Thank you so much, Orum. I hope you're having the best of all the days possible. All right? The absolute best. Appreciate you, buddy. Uh, Mandela effect? Yeah, at this point here, I'm like concerned it might be one. Uh, where does this go like this? Mode PCB. Always very good. Done by Mr. Gondo. You guys know I love Gondo in this hobby. Why is this not clipping in nice? There we go. We do love Mr. Gondo. He does good work with PCBs. 
Uh, can we get a smooch? Wait, so if I get the hot swap PCB, can I still desolder the standoffs? Yeah, you just push, you heat up a soldering iron and push them through. You can technically do it, yeah. It's just one extra bit of work. Again, that's kind of, it's it's a criticism that I probably wouldn't care too much about, but uh, recently people have been requesting that on their, their other boards, which is something I didn't even think to do. Because usually I don't install them on boards, but when they have them like pre-made like that, I usually just leave them. Alrighty. We'll leave them on today, just for the sake of testing the board. If the board sounds weird or wacky, then we'll get rid of them. Um, are those mode stabilizers? Yeah. I offered anyone to, uh, or sorry, I offered everyone if we want to use night stabs today, but it seemed like people want to do the mode stabs because probably easy to buy them. You're wacky. Thank you, dude. <laughs> Thank you so much. Also, I heard someone say Bad Batch earlier, or saw someone say Bad Batch. Did the new episodes come out this week? I think I'm on episode 11. I don't, no spoilers, please. Let's not even talk about what's happening in the show. But I just want to know if there's episode 12. New one comes tomorrow. Ooh. Bye, Chris. Have a good one. <laughs> Jeff, I saw that. Salvation fiel for plateless build. Oh my god, okay. I will say this with the utmost uh, respect. Plateless salvation is very unique. You have to like... Uh, how can I word this? You have to like the bounciest typing experience ever to appreciate that. Let's test our stubs. It's, it's very unique. All right, we're time to put on the plates. I think I do want to go aluminum for today. I think aluminum is the move. I think so. Is aluminum the move today, or do we do PC? Hmm. Alu or PC? What do you guys want to see? I'll probably end up doing a second build of this sometime soon. Should we do a poll? I mean, it looks like everyone's just saying aluminum. I only have aluminum or PC. That's all they sent over today. Yeah, it looks like everyone's just saying alu. Well, here's what we'll do. I'll do a second build soon. It'll be probably unscheduled, but we'll do a second one soon. All right. Let's pop in our, actually, before I do anything, let me take off these little stickers. Just in case I do want to screw this in myself here, but. Uh, Alex, so generous of you to agree to send me this board. Adam, you already won so many boards from giveaways. Don't get greedy, Adam. Hashtag don't get greedy, Adam. Never mind, Adam for mod. Right, whatever, this one here is broken through, anyways. There we go. Let's do it like this. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's put our switches in now. The MagSafe feature is like Apple Magic Mouse. I hope everyone knows it's not actually a MagSafe feature. I hope everyone's well aware. <laughs> but yeah, talking a little bit about the PCB again, it's from made by um, just like all other mode PCBs. It's a Gondo PCB. I love Gondo. I feel like every time he comes in here, I always get so happy. Gondo's great. This plate is a little tight for the switches. Not a bad thing though. I might have to get my plate fork though. Wait, sorry, so the purpose of the standoffs in general is so the PCB doesn't hit the bottom case? It's for two reasons, alignment, and then um, if you were to take out all the switches without disassembling the board, it just wouldn't fall through. Uh, and it's also, well, again, kind of on the same page of alignment, it kind of helps the board be the perfect height, so your switches. Truth be told, 
I, I don't think alignment the um the standoffs make the biggest deal in the world when it comes to what they actually do. I I've always thought they've been a little bit more negative than positive, but a lot of people do like it for alignment reasons. That's it. I would never personally build a whole board by taking out all the switches from a hot swap like hot swap keyboard inside the case and then rebuilding it. I would never do that. Actually, I don't need the plate fork. We're good today. Also, what's up? did I see Zerpocalypse in there? What's up, Zerpocalypse? How you doing, man? Is alignment hard? Um, without being, let's not be, okay. I, I wanna be very clear. I don't wanna be rude about this at all. Some people do find certain tasks with keyboards a little challenging and that's fine. Everyone's different, right? That's totally fine. I, I, you know, some people might find it very difficult to get, get the first switch in. Maybe they're a little nervous. I've had people in the past send me emails being like, my whole keyboard's not working. And again, everyone's a little different. We have to understand there's different skill levels. And the best thing to do is teaching people not to make fun of them. I've had clients like literally put in switches like this and then say their keyboard's not working. And it's just like, they just lay it on because they, they're nervous to, to push it in, right? I think we're in a niche audience and we have to be very understanding of that, where it's, you know, we can say that we've looked, looked at a few keyboards, we've watched a few build streams, we kind of get a general idea of how everything works and it just kind of comes to us naturally. So it happens, even I make mistakes and you guys see them all live, embrace the mistakes, that's all. Everyone starts somewhere and there's no shame in that. Exactly. You know, I put it in here for aesthetic reasons every stream and then I just dump them out. I had my friend go, uh, my friend over the fear of pulling a hot swap switch out of her keyboard. Yeah, some people are really nervous about taking out switches too. Even soldering, people are very nervous because they, you know, I'm not saying keyboards are super resilient but they're, they're decently resilient. Like you can, you can leave it on for more than three seconds, you know? Uh, can you describe the sound profile of PP versus nylon? I probably can't TPK. I have not used enough nylon plates to give you an accurate description of what they sound like. I actually would be lying to you if I, could, if I told you today. And I don't wanna do that. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe there's someone in chat who knows a little bit more about nylon plates. I feel like they're quite niche. I think I've only used two of them ever. Oh, I think I fucked up this particular switch housing. Uh, that's fair, I'll probably grab both of them to try. Yeah, that could be really fun too. Best trick I've learned from Alex has been tweezer straight in the bent, uh, bent pin. Yeah, that's a good one too. I always try to make sure all my pins are straight before I put them in too. That's why I'm always like looking over the switches. Um, not sure if I simply missed it, but have you tried the gear on deepings? Deppings or deepings? We've taken a look at them, but we have not in depth tried them yet. I have another board I plan on using them for. Alex, please be the sprinkles to my cream. Love you, bud. I love you too, man. Thank you so much, Kenny. Kenny, did you... Hold on. Kenny, did you see this? <laughs> Cass is sending me some. Amazing. Now I gotta put this on another one. But is it gonna be kind of hard to see at that point? Isn't it gonna be a little difficult to kind of tell what's going on? <laughs> so, it's so funny though, man. Cass killed it with this. <clears throat> Hopefully the next board uh, I send it will be in there. Yes, 110%. We have to get that done. It's the best thing I've seen all day today. Oh, thanks guys. Side note dessert, but so happy I got my K, uh, KKB Darling. Came out fantastic. Dude's Apocalypse. Actually, just like 
I don't know the right words to say, but I think he has the most popular keycap set in the entire hobby. <laughs> like, I don't think there's another set that even comes close to how popular Darling is. I feel like people who don't even watch the, the anime want Darling. The best thing I've learned from Alex was that the Event Horizon exists and I must have one. <laughs> Remember guys, I want things too, but sometimes we miss out on things in life and that's okay. Don't, uh, don't go too crazy for things. Not worth it. Um, how about a sticker of Smiling Alex holding his hand in the head of Smiling Alex holding his hand in the head of Smiling Huh? What the? One of the best compliments is when someone isn't a fan of the anime but loves the colorway. Yeah. It's a really popular set. Like, whenever I talk about Darling, everyone instantly knows what it is. Some people don't even like the anime and they'll still get it, so. You know, Mudo, I have some old photos of Dundas Square. It's weird looking back at old work. Sometimes I feel a little bad about it because I feel like I was more creative eight, nine years ago than I was now. Um, but I, I do have some. I'd love to go again. But I think it's also me being a little bit more cynical in life. I think, uh, I don't know, Toronto just feels a bit more run down these days. So whenever I go take street shots, I always feel like it's a little bit of a, a miss sometimes. But yeah, at night, it's really pretty. I actually got a filter for my lens. It's a diffusion filter that I want to go try out soon on some nighttime shots. Uh, you get more picky, the better you get. I find I take less photos when I go out now. Yeah, I used dude, I used to like jump in the middle of the street, take photos, like obviously safely, but I tried, I used to be way more adventurous with my shots. Now I am still adventurous, but in a different manner. I'm still trying to work up the courage to do like people, like shots, like going up to people and being like, hey, you have a cool outfit, can I take your photo and get like a collection of, you know, people in Toronto kind of shots. But I'll be honest, it's a little nerve wracking sometimes. I'm, I'm not like, I'm not nervous to go talk to that person. I'm just nervous that the photo won't turn out good. I did try it off a little bit. I did try the orange filter a little bit. It's pretty cool. I haven't uh, published any photos for that yet though. I've been playing around with some of the other diffusion filters. I don't know if refined re adventurousness is the right word though. You know what I mean, Skullhead? I feel like I would still like to be adventurous in the general sense of things. That way there I don't feel like I'm missing out on different facets of things. But perhaps it is more of like a, I'm finding things I'm more comfortable with at this point. I hate it because you have spent so much, uh, I'm a music producer and I feel the same way. I hate it because you have such a sophisticated style and now your creativity is limited. That's a great way to put it actually. I, I do feel like you've kind, you kind of kind of get to it like a certain specific style and then you try to dial it down, like try to dial it in rather, not dial it down. And then you spend so much time dialing it in that you forget to be adventurous in other facets of creativity. But yeah, long-winded answer, Mudo. Yes, I have, but not recently. Maybe one day again. Dude, I love milky yellows. Look at how beautiful this is. Look how pretty. That is... Very nice. Milky yellows, baby. Um, what I did to the milky yellows. Okay, so the milky yellows, just so everyone knows, just so we're all on the same page. I did not actually spring swap these because I was playing around. I was gonna put grave shift springs in these, but I actually liked the uh, stock spring in this. I was hesitant to do this, but thought they were nice. They sounded very good too. Um, I lubed them with a little bit of 205. There was already some lubricant on the stem. I put a little bit more, like the smallest micro amount, 
and moved around the lube that was already there. I did not remove any of the stock lube. And then I filmed them with TX films. I ran out of Desky films, so I used my last TX films, and I believe I used 0.125. I think that was the, the length I used. I don't really use TX films that often, but that is uh, what I did to these switches today. And these are Milky Yellow Pros. Is there a difference? What's the difference between the pros and the regulars again? Off the top of my head, I don't remember. All right, let's get this off my charging panel here. Did you apply the lube with your tongue? Man, I don't, know. I don't even know what to say for that one there. <laughs> no, pro is, pro. oh, is that literally the only difference? Also, not sure. Little m small criticism to this. I don't know what this piece is made of, but it is not reacting well to the oils on my finger. Maybe something to look into. Maybe I can just wipe this down with like isopropyl alcohol, but that is like instantly. Kind of cool, but might not be everyone's cup of tea. So I'm not sure if this particular piece was clear coated. I'm not sure what this particular piece is made of. Lick test, is it cold? Nope. It could be a piece of stainless steel, but now it's now it's gonna have fingy prints all over it. Uh, most likely stainless. The moment JJW had the same issue with me and uh, my cursed oiled palms. Yeah, again, you're never gonna see this part here, but would be nice if this was coated with something so this doesn't happen for people who don't want it. I actually prefer this because you guys know I love patina on keyboards. But it would make sense if this is clear coated and this is also clear coated. So just as a, a small note of aesthetic criticism there, but in the most minor sense, cause you're never gonna see this part. All right, let's just disassemble the board. Alrighty. And the way this board disassembles is sort of like the tempo, I guess. Is it more like the tempo or is it? Actually, no, this is like the 65. It's been a while since I built a 65. I'm dead serious, I heard the wood accent smells good. Oh wait, it kind of does. It's, it smells like wood, but it smells like nice. <laughs> wait, it kind of does, dude. How does it taste? Why does everyone want to know what the taste is? It's gonna taste like wood. Um, The standouts are stuck until you desolder them, yes. But I believe that's only on the hot swap version. What bit do I need for this? I could use the included bits, but I don't feel like taking that out of the package. Magnetic screws, nice. I feel like lately we haven't had a lot of magnetic screws, which has been a bit of a bummer on keyboards. So this is nice to have. Will that accent fit on my glorious GMK Pro? I don't know how to answer that. And the bottom of this case, I was watching the videos and like assembly and stuff. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the sonnet, how it kind of hooks onto the bottom and then closes down. So kind of like that clamshell that the sonnet has, which is interesting. In case you guys wanted to see actually the top frame, I should show you guys this as well. They got the magnets. The Anno looks fantastic everywhere on this, so. Lamp. Um, we got basically the opposite build. Oh, what would you get? Lick the wood? For a hundred gifted subs, I'll lick the wood. Guys, I don't like licking things. Every time I lick something, it lingers on my mouth for like three days. I'm not even kidding you. For like three days. Uh, let's do this guy. I beg of you, lick it. Why? Bro, what, what are you licking? You guys make me lick like copper and stuff. <laughs> My tongue's gonna like fall off one day. And here is the copper clear coated piece here. Now, there should be a way to install this. So the mode logo is, I guess, oriented down. So I believe it's this way. So let's screw this guy in. 
Yeah, this is gonna patina so quickly, this piece. I'm sure if you use some sort of like alcohol, it might go away, but. Your tongue knows what everyone, everything feels like. True at this point. Okay, now to play the screw guessing game here. I'm assuming it's this screw. Correct. Very small screws that are countersunk. I'm not buying this board until I know how the wood tastes. Oh my goodness. All right, next set of screws here. I think we're using the same thing. <laughs> Isn't copper treated already? The copper is treated. I mean, the copper has a clear coat on it, yes. I still don't want to lick it, please. Guess what, chat? Mr. Streamer still has not answered my DM, but it's okay. You know what? I'm way too lucky. I'm literally gonna go look right now. We're, we're gonna take a little pause and we're gonna go type in way too lucky. Uh, really strange behavior for the stabs, right? Oh, this is a long video. All right, so essentially what's happening. Okay, I, don't, I won't play your voice. I don't know if you want me to. I already did like two seconds of it. Wait, kind of have to, I need to listen to it. Can I play your voice way too lucky? Am I allowed to? If it smells good, it's gotta taste good. I sound like an idiot, so go for it. No, I don't sound like an idiot, man. Hold on, let me pause the music. Let's try to fix your problem. Happening is that the stabilizer is not... Um, what board is this, Way Too Lucky? And so you can see it, like, here on this key. It's not coming back the way it should, whereas, like, that one it is. And basically what's happening QK60. is that this stab is coming up bent naturally when it's returning instead of coming back straight. So if I lift the other one up, let's see if I can get it. Oh, I see what you mean. See how it's not coming back straight? This sounds really, is there a defect in the stab? That, that like, it, I see what you mean. It could just be a defect in the stab. Um, like, is the plastic legitimately warped? That would be the first thing that's going through my head. Second would be, is everything seated correctly? I think the QK60, it didn't, did you put shims? That's what I'm thinking. That's why I want to send it to you while you were making your stab list. Th those, which stabs? The Owl Lab stabs? Which tabs were those again? Yeah, maybe it's not, yeah, maybe it's not the, the stabs sitting on a 1.2 mil PCB then. Hmm, interesting. Uh, Owl Lab stabs? I don't think I actually reviewed the Owl Lab stabs in that particular list because I've only used a very hey, Alex, small subsample. monkey says lick it. <laughs> Guys, I'm not licking anything, please. Tell everyone it's a night stab. Yeah, save some for the rest of us. I would, is it hot swap? I would take it apart and take a, a, you do a new stab for that particular one. It kind of just looks like it's a defect. I'm sorry you have to go through that though. Monkey donate it, you won't lick it. Oh my God, that wasn't part of our terms and conditions. That was not part of it guys. Uh, instead of spinning it normally, could you put the metal ball on the top right of your desk? Bro, what are we checking? We already know what's gonna happen. Like, what are we checking, dude? <sighs> Guys, it's my own fuck up. 
I put the additional support leg in the wrong area because I want it to be comfortable sitting. That is it. <laughs> it is my own screw up. <sighs> you made monkey sad? Oh my god. Monkey, I love I love your YouTube channel. Alright. Bro still got uh one half of a Beyblade Stadium. Oh my god, that's I know you're making fun of me, but at the same time, Yoshi. So many memories. So many memories of Beyblades, man. So many. Uh, honest question, could you not just fix it? I've tried. It's not as easy as you think because I have a lot of cables and stuff drilled into the desk right here. So it's not as easy as it once was. Jaybird, thank you so much for the tier one for three months in advance, man. I appreciate you, dude. Uh, at least say you love my channel, but you do love me. I love you, Mookie. Hope you're having a great day, man. Thank you, Jaybird. Appreciate you again, bro. CNC keyboard doubles as a Beyblade Arena. Eh, I miss it. It was really fun. I had a lot of fun with Beyblades, and I also had a lot of fun with the other kind of arena thing, which was Beatemon. Not as wildly popular, I don't think. I don't think Beatemon kind of reached the same level of audience that uh, Beyblade did, but beat him on was so much fun. Swedish fish is a candy. I love them, but I feel like that's a very controversial take. But I do like them a lot. All right. So, there's two different ways we can install this. Number one is using a top mount, which essentially has these curved ones. Where is it? Okay, you know what? So we can do it like an isolated top mount with the lattice mounts, and this also helps force break it a little bit too. I think I'm gonna start off with the traditional lattice over here. They also have these middle lattices. Top mount, this is the way. I prefer top mount with both builds. Really? Well, we'll start off. Okay, do you guys want me to start off with top or do you guys want me to start off with the traditional lattice? I'll let you guys pick. I shall let chat pick. Eat them? Oh my God, monkey. Okay, everyone wants top. Okay. Uh, what's the best way to do this then? I think we had to flip this. Top it is. Which one tastes better? What's with you guys in taste today? <laughs> oh my goodness. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Where is the other curved ones here? One, two, and... Three. Perfect. Oh, these ones go on the opposite side. My bad. These ones go here. Lamps is wrong way. Oh no, I, I know, I know. My own, my own mistake. These curved ones sit on the inside of this piece. I heard the wood accent tastes like Swedish fish. I feel like Swedish fish are really good. But if I had to pick like a candy, oh, this way here. I think my favorite candy of all time, like, actually, I don't know. I would, I would personally say Sour Patch Kids. Like, okay, not chocolate. I'm talking like candy. I know it kind of falls under the same category, but I think Sour Patch Kids are my connects are good sometimes, I feel. I don't love uh, my connects all the time, though. Sour Patch watermelons are insane. Skittles for you. Skittles are good. I, I had a, a relationship with Skittles during my younger years, but I think I've grown out of 
Skittles in general. I don't know why. Lately, they kind of gross me out. Cola gummies? Cola gummies are good. I like cola gummies a lot. The trolley gummies? Oh, dude, those things are delicious. But those are kind of hard to find in Canada. I feel like you have to go to the dollar stores and the convenience stores for those. I look too mature for Skittles. Okay, my thing with Skittles is not that I feel... Dude, I feel like whenever I have Skittles, I get hopped up on sugar, man. And I don't have that feeling with any other candy at all. Akari, I'm with you on that. Hot tamales are so good, dude. It's just Skittles. Wrong one. This one. Wax bottles with pure sugar in them? Pretty sugar water? Huh? Which one's those? You're not supposed to eat that many? Next thing you're gonna tell me you're not supposed to eat the whole bag of chips in one sitting. Come on, bro. <laughs> Dude, freeze-dried Skittles are bomb. I see that's like a big trend right now with the freeze-dried candy and I don't know. I I don't think I'm that into freeze-dried stuff maybe. All right, top mount first. Fairly simple to install. Fairly simple indeed. Um, thank you so much, Sokin. I appreciate you, man. Finally got to join your stream. Always been in school whenever stream is up. Yeah, today we did a little bit of a late night one. How you doing, man? Uh, I did visit the US for the first time. Everyone told me Cool Ranch Doritos were amazing, so I did what any normal person would do and bought two big bags. They were awful. Yo, Cry. Listen, I'm with you on that. I've only ever had, I think I tried a Dorito recently, but I don't know why. Doritos look gross to me. Uh, I, I'm i pretty positive I tried one, but you know the first time I tried a Dorito? I'm pretty positive I did. I, I think I did. Was recently. Like, I'm talking within the last year. Doritos have always looked a little bit gross to me. Oh, we got to do clamshell install on this. Hold on. Easier to do it. There we go. I like the install of this a lot, by the way. This is super, super easy. Um, I There's really not much to note other than the price. The copper is very well done. Um, there's really not much to note versus the other ones. I mean, obviously it's probably gonna sound a smidge different. This might be a little bit more full and obviously a little bit heavier. But I think if I had to pick one at the end of the day, I would, I would do, I don't know, I'd probably still go with the Polycarb. Polycarb is definitely up my alley there. Oh. <clears throat> the Polycarb bottom. I think I would still pick an aluminum top. Or I mean, maybe the opposite. Maybe I pick an aluminum top or like, I don't know, maybe I do ball out and get like a brass bottom. But I think, uh, also, I love the little bit of the exposed gaskets there. That's kind of cute. And that just slots on. I guess that kind of acts as a buffer so they don't bounce around as well. Very, very simple build. The wood accent looks gorgeous. Just to show you guys again. I really like the wood accent on this. Keycaps? I don't know. What should I put on this? We'll, we'll try gasket. Well, not gasket. We'll try a uh, lattice after this as well. P please try long pole. Next build we do, we'll do long pole. I don't know if we go long pole today. Anthracite would be nice. We could go a mode keycap set. I mean, I plan on doing two builds on this anyways, and I did promise you guys mode keycaps for one of the builds, but I would like to test with GMK on day one. Um, so I have a better understanding of how things sound because we always go GMK. Polybius? I feel like this, 
we go with a lighter colored set today to kind of complement this. I don't have birch. No, birch would have been really nice. Mill maxed. Um, I will make a tutorial very soon, Vina. Redacted Hazakura. Unless we go with like a. Hold on. Let me let me see. Let me see if I have it available. One second. The heaviest sixty five build is five point seven one pounds. <clears throat> oh, the Encore is 6.2 with no keycaps. Things hefty. Uh, how does the Encore hit 6.2? Uh, where did I put that keycap set now is the real question. One moment, guys. Give me one second. I prepped another keycap set. I was actually going to put Future Funk on today's build, but I kind of changed my mind last minute. I think everything's here. I feel like we go classic retro. I feel like we do something super classy. Oh, lavender would be nice for this too. I was thinking we just do this. Just, I feel like this would look classic on this. And then, you know, I guess if you lift the keyboard up like this, just as a little note, you can't really lift the keyboard up like that. Just, you can't do that because it'll slip off, but you can lift it from the bottom. Yeah, I think we do this. I think this is a good choice. The plate reminds me of a steel pan. <laughs> a steel pan? Actually, before we put everything in here, let's uh, let's tune the stabs. These are the mode stabs, yeah. LGMK set? Why? I like this GMK set. I think it works very nicely with this. I unfortunately don't have like, I feel like Birch would have been an excellent choice today, but I don't own that set. I'm just gonna put a little bit in. If I remember correctly, mode stabs don't need as much as Duroc stabs, but we're going to go very careful. We can always add more. That's the thing with this. You don't own every set. Yeah, yeah. WGMK set. Beige on silver is the best of all time. The loop TKL? Yeah. I'm pretty positive I still have one loop TKL fully built. I think I do. Yeah, I do. So we can go grab that afterwards too if you want to compare it to the loop. Although this is a, technically I don't think the loop also had top mount, right? See, I think this goes so nice with the wood accent. Fuck, I think the wood accent might be my favorite accent on this. I think it is the nicest one. Although the fluted copper is very pretty. It's it's different to have the wood accent. I will admit. You can't say, I'm not even gonna read that Adam. Just put the course out while listening to the stream, really happy with it. What'd you put inside of it? What did you end up building it with? So some pros and cons of the build so far. Multiple mounting styles is nice. I've always appreciated mode for, I think they usually include two with every single, every single board for the most part. I think with the exception of the Envoy, right? Maybe the tempo as well. Um, easy to put together. The in inclusion of a magnetic accent on the back is nice. Kind of a throwback to the original 65 that they had, which was very popular. The only dislike I had about the board so far was two minor things being, I hope it's changed for the final version. Uh, the inside piece that, ho that houses the stainless steel polished area seemed like it wasn't coated with anything and my fingerprints were all over it. And then the only other minor thing is I do wish they would allow us to kind of screw in those standoffs manually. Yeah, the lattice top mount is very, very awesome. It's, I think, the key thing to this build. And then also, I mean, the lattices all, 
I mean, this is done. Thirty no months loop. of awesome Alex goodness. Thank you so much. Finally, had some time to check in. I am a while. only Alex amazing. I always appreciate you coming in here, man. Uh, but I think the lattice mounts doubling as a force break is also a pretty good move. So good on mode there. Aesthetically, though, the board's pretty. Now, I don't know the front height of this board. We'll, we shall check in a second. I've been really interested in measuring front heights of keyboards lately. But I would guess 20? Maybe 20 mil? We shall find out. Actually, no, we'll find out after we put the keycaps on. This says R5, I love it. <clears throat> is the lattice isolated top mount available on the Sonnet as well? Lattice isolated top. It technically is. It's not lattice though, but it's the, the sleeves you put on the, um, on the plate. It's still isolated. It's just not the lattice version of it. I mean, I don't think the, there was lattices present in those. It was just the green material. Delete. Page up. Page down. Function. Arrow keys. So, yeah, they're... Six months. They're Happy a lot almost harder. baby Alex. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, Ambo. Um... I, I have tried these particular lattice mounts and I don't like the stiffness of them personally. So I tend to never use them for reviews because it, it doesn't make sense to knowingly pick something that I'm not gonna like. So I always I always just never use them. I tried them when they first came out in the Envoy. I tried them again in the loop like off stream. I did not like them. Some people love them though. Some people like the stiffer typing experience. I like middle ground, and I feel like that's what the lattice really brings, is a middle ground softness. All right, let's put these away too. Well, let's stick them in this one. The, la the lattice mounts are softer, but the, the whatever material the black one's made of, it's much stiffer. Uh, and to show you guys, like you can squish this one very easily and you can't on this one here. So this one here can squish all the way, this one here, very difficult. I don't know what these would equate to like in a durometer, but like, you know, the, the hardness softness scale. Uh, maybe you just got stronger with your right hand. Actually, I'm not gonna put these away yet. All right, so we're gonna do top mount first. So we already spoke about what we like about the board. Um, let's see the front height as well. Let's see, what do we got for a front height? And I'll show you guys the board as well. Let's start off from one. Actually, is it a little lower? Is it 18? Oh no, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong side. Actually, it's about 19, 19 and a half, about about 19, I'd say. 19 mil, not bad. Again, on the top end of what I normally enjoy typing with. Oh God, it's like so loud outside. Let's take a quick look at the appearance of the board now that we've installed everything. We have the wood accent here on the back. Please stay. I really like the wood accent. I think this looks stunning. Look at that. I pulled it up a little bit, my bad guys. Is it pulled up or is it just not sitting nice with the lattice mount here? Might not be sitting the best with the lattice, which is something I'd maybe recommend them looking at. Seems like it's just peeking up over here and I can't get it to sit nicely. It was sitting nice without the lattice block. I there. want Kappa. But it does look like it's putting some pressure on that. Yeah, let me try the fluted one. Let's see if that happens with the fluted copper. The magnets are not finalized yet. Oh, I didn't know that. No one told me that. Perhaps the magnets are not finalized. But as a note, we should note it anyways. I think it's important to remember that we're looking at the product as is right now. 
Oh yeah, a little bit on the fluted copper one as well. It, it kind of feels like it, it's the lattices doing that. Yeah. Because it wasn't there when we started it without the lattice. Yeah, dude, the ridges on the copper one are stunning. Also, Rish, thank you so much. And Durian, thank you so much as well for the subs. I really do appreciate it, guys. Also, Durian said, want to say thank you, Alex, for the streams that got me through school and I passed my registration exam for my dream job. Oh, dude, congratulations. Wait, what's your dream job? Do you mind if I ask? All right. And then we'll go back to the aesthetic of the board. Again, I hope maybe it is the magnets. I don't remember them mentioning anything about the magnets to me, but again, this is a prototype. So hopefully that'll get looked at. I really like this actually. You know, it's funny. Originally, when they showed me this design, I said, I'm not sure how I feel about this. And I think it's really grown on me. I still maybe would have preferred it without the mode symbol over here, but I think this is very pretty. I maybe should have asked for a different material. Although the silver ring is really cool for this. Maybe this would have been cool in something else. The MagSafe charger puck. Very, very nice. This is super pretty looking. And there's that side profile. Again, hoping this gets resolved with the, the magnet or maybe it's just the, I don't know if it's the magnet. Maybe it just needs to be a bit stronger I feel like it's just the lattice blocks peeking through over there because the lattice blocks are peeking through right here. And before, when we tried this, it was sitting nice and flush. And I feel like it's being pushed up because of those lattice blocks. Again, we're kind of looking at it from a uh, zoom in perspective, but as a note. All right. So now we can, why is it so noisy outside? Why is it like when I want to start typing? Can you guys hear the noise outside? It feels like there's like a snow plow. <clears throat> uh, registered massage therapist closely related to psychotherapy style of therapy um, to help patients get better from work. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Snowplow in this weather? Could just be a truck. Anyways, let's see what this sounds. Is it distracting? Can you guys hear the background? Like, be honest. Because I don't want to type and then you guys feel like it's not a good typing test because of the distracting background noise. No? Okay. Let's see what this sounds like then. Uh, aluminum plate, um, lubed in films, milky yellows. And this is the top mount to start off. Oh, that's nice. Already like it. Man, I'm so happy I did these switches. I mean, everything sounds very even as well, which is good. The space bar is fantastic, love it. Yeah, you can see my screen. Yeah, I think everything is very nice in the top mount config. Again, I think normally when we build mode boards, we typically go for a long pull switch. I'm very happy we didn't go with long pull this time. Yeah, I love this wood accent on this. This looks great with the wood accent. Tier one, thank you so much, Platy. Appreciate you, dude. Woo, woo, two months. Also want those emotes. 
All the stabs looked great. Top, you know, I would say I agree with you. I think maybe the top row on the top mount sounds typical of having a top mount though. Good evening, Alexot Wave. You guys want a Nixie spacebar for funsies? Also, thank you, Maze. I appreciate the tier one. And then we're going to switch to the lattice blocks, okay? I will say, though, yeah, this definitely feels like a top mount. It's a little bit, a little bit, not softer per se, but you can't really feel the feedback because of the, um, what's it called, isolation there, but... Let's see. I, I can't tell, is there a big difference? Yeah, I don't hear much of a difference between the Nixie and the the Gator on Milky Yellow. I kind of preferred the Milky Yellow, actually. Oddly enough. Yeah, I think I preferred the Milky Yellow. Yeah. Dilwood, thank you so much for the five tier ones, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, dude. Nixie defeat it? No, I wouldn't say it's defeat. I mean, this is using a Milky Yellow. Yeah, this sounds nice with the Milky Yellow. Like, listen to that. It just suits this board better, I think. We can try some different switches after this. Let's try the other mounting style. That's what I'm very curious about. Do you have lucky Nixies for your sound tests? I have batches that I lube and I keep on the side, but I'm, I'm completely out again, so I need to revive my stash soon. Dude, I don't know what the hell they're doing this late at night. I think they're excavating something. I have no idea. It sounds like a snowplow though. And it sounds like it's just running. Yeah, easy to build. I like the clamshell kind of style over here that they have. Very easy to assemble, which is nice. No mounting points under the space bars. Good, good, good. Magnetic screws. I don't know why the, that's how it's removed, that easy? Yeah, the whole board is very easy to assemble. All right, now we can take off these guys and swap them for the other ones. Price point should be lower IMO. Um. Here's, I have a, I've always said this, this has been my standpoint since I have started the hobby. While I agree that prices would be nice to have lowered in every aspect and, you know, all across every company and stuff, but I don't know. I think companies are entitled to price things, whatever they want. If people don't want the product, people won't buy it because there's a lot of competition right now on keyboards. So for example, if mode ends up thinking, well, like, you know, maybe we should price this 30 or $40 lower than go for it. But with how much extra is on the market right now, like how many different things are on the market, maybe it would make sense to be more competitive, but um, I will admit I would personally rather pay a small premium, not saying the mode has like a premium or doesn't have a premium or whatever. I would personally pay a little bit of a premium to have a company with good support. I think that's kind of my, my standpoint there. Um, <clears throat> the copper is gonna be a lower volume item in the customization. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people are going to buy copper. I can see that. Yeah, like I said, if mode ends up, like, if this keyboard ends up sounding great, 
you know what you did and we like it and we love it and then it doesn't sell then they know for next time it's i don't know i don't think 250 starting point for this is terrible at all i don't think so at all considering it's one two three four pieces i think when you start getting more of the premium stuff yeah it definitely adds up But there are alternatives. For example, Mode has a one-piece keyboard, basically, which is the Envoy. Actually, technically, that's two pieces, too. Uh, what am I doing? This should go in this way first. I think this is the best way to do this. But they have the Envoy, which you can get for much cheaper. And then let's do it this way, because I like building it this way. Let's lean it off the desk pad and slide it in. No, oh, I think I fucked that up. No, I did not. Perfect. R&D and tooling, they did go into this, make all the different parts alone, justify the price of entry. Yeah. I mean, there's other boards that are a lot more simple, very like generic in design that go for Oh, this is the wrong screw. They go for, what's it called? Cheaper price points. Plus, I don't think mode is, I, I, I don't know. I'm kind of speaking out of my ass here, but I feel like QK and Wuche are more globally recognized brands where they can perhaps have cheaper MOQs because of the um, sheer volume that they do for some of their boards, you know? I don't think modes quite there for global exposure, perhaps just North American. Detachable accent, I love it. I liked it in the original one, so. Hides the screws nicely, no fuss, very nice. Dude, what? I like this already way more, hold on. This is the uh, lattice ones. Wait, this sounds so nice. I mean, I liked the top mount too, but the number row sounds great. Whoa, this is a very different sound profile. How's the flex on this one? Oh yeah, this is way softer. Still a little bit firm, but way softer than the um, top mount. Okay, so versus the top, the top mount had a very, I don't know, it felt like a top mount, like I said. Um, different sound profile entirely. I really like this one with the standard lattice mounts. I mean, if you want to get a little bit less bouncy, if that's not your thing, maybe you go with the half lattices, which I did not use. I think this sounded way better. Is the accent sitting flush now? Uh, no, it still has a small, tiny-ish gap over here. But it's definitely not as pronounced as it was with the other one. Yeah, so that's maybe the other negative here too that I keep, I almost neglected to mention for like a second time, which was uh, the magnets or I guess the sitting of this needs to be adjusted a smidge. Dude, they're, they're like doing construction or something.
dare I say I... Dare I say I like this a little bit more than my Ori space bar? This is aluminum plate. I mean, the nice thing is everything sounds, um, sorry, everything sounds good about this. Like the modifiers sound good. The alphas all sound very even. The number row on the lattice sounds miles better than the top mount version. You know, I would be very interested to see with a polycarbonate bottom on this. The polycarb bottom might add a bit of depth, deepness to the sound profile. I mean, this looks great. This also looks very good. Again, maybe not the mode symbol here. I might have wanted to avoid that, but I mean, it is what it is. It's on the bottom anyways. Not the biggest fan of the branding there, but it is, again, what it is. The stabs are fine. I've reviewed the stabs in depth already. The mode stabs are basically just alternative versions that are cheaper of the Duroc stabs, basically. A little bit of a different housing, but... Yeah, everything sounds good. I'm happy with this, man. This turned out great. I'm very happy. Does this set have a taller bottom row? It does. It's an R5 bottom row. I've, I've noticed the R5 bottom row doesn't really affect sound profile. Um, so we can do this just to make sure so we know that it's not me playing strange mind games on you guys. I have a piece of dust there. Yeah, there's a $20 coupon, I think. You know, I actually... I didn't know about that until they sent an email to everyone, so I wasn't really told about that. But I think it's day one you get a discount. Sounds the same to me. Is the space bar the same as R5 and R4? Oh, it's the same thing. It's the exact same thing. For some reason, I thought the space bar was a slight bit taller. I'm very happy with this. So again, to reiterate what I want to see cleaned up, tolerance a little bit on the weight. Um, it was persistent on both the copper fluted one as well as the wood accent. Um, and then perhaps look into, again, you won't see it here, but the other part of the stainless to this, maybe you can't do anything about that. Maybe that's just me kind of yelling into the void to see that cleaned up a bit, but I don't know if it's possible to clear coat it and then polish it or treat it of some sort so it doesn't get all patinaed. Might also be part of the charm while you're building it. I don't know if that matters to you guys. Everything else is very, very nice about this board. Detachable feet, so you can take these out if you want to swap colors, if you end up buying both. Uh, appreciate that a lot, actually. No more adhesives there. Screws are hidden behind the weight here. Love that as well. Back on. I think this is very, very, very nice. Actually, you know what? It, it's it's a lot different using the weight on this one versus the top mount. So perhaps it is just those lattices that are causing the top mount one to kind of pop up a little bit like that. Because this is a lot more flush. I think my choice would definitely be the, the maple accent. I think I'm sold on the maple accent. I know this one here like looks really cool, the fluted accent. Like this definitely is super dope. Put that back on. But I'm kind of sold on the maple. I don't think you need to go super premium and get the copper. Maple accent for the maple man? A little bit, yeah. 
Uh, we are using the, um, I guess by solid lattices, do you mean, do I even have solid lattices? I don't think I do. The ones with the full lattice. I don't know a good way to, exp uh, to explain this. Not the half lattice blocks. So, we're done day one looking at this board. I'm gonna figure out some different switches that we can maybe play around with. What's with everyone in the taste of accents today? Uh, I think for the next build for the polycarbonate plate, I think that might sound better for the top mount, by the way. And I think I'm gonna do long pole switches for those, just so we have like, you know, long pole and full travel, get, you know, both, at, both kind of out of the way. I don't know when I'm gonna do that. Um, I wasn't, ex I forgot they sent me two plates. I didn't expect to get two plates. Or maybe they told me and I just forgot. I thought it was like one or the other. Uh, let's set another stream date for that soon. Like maybe we even kind of push that in the next few days if I have some time. Yeah, we could just do like mode switches or something. So my findings, again, to, to clarify, so everyone's just kind of like, okay, so what's the final consensus here? I much personally preferred the lattice with the aluminum plate. I think the top mount sounded fine. It sounded good. Like I had no issues with the top mount. It was nice. This one hundred percent way up my alley. Let's compare it to the Envoy really quick. Cause I know there's gonna be some, maybe some comparisons we wanna know. Envoy versus this. Where's my Envoy? had it this morning. Where did I put you? Did I put you away in the front? That is a little shot. It can't be that hard to find. Oh, it's on the stand. So we'll compare it to the Envoy. And the Envoy has long pull switches. So maybe not the best comparison in the world. Oh, also, we should put a desk pad under both of them. Long pull switches, though, mind you. the space bar way more in here. I know that if I put, like I already know if I put long poles in this, this is gonna sound way more full and just poppier than this guy. They're two very different boards though. should have a long pull switch. Do you guys want to see a long pull switch in this really quick? Mm, thought I had a few lying around. Did I not have a few? One second, guys. Yes, okay, one moment. Oh, I do. I have some ones I modded. I kept on the side for today. We'll put some obscuras because they both have obscuras in them, technically. Well, this one has obscuras. So we can kind of do apples to apples, I guess. I do like the look of the thinner side bezels versus the Envoy as well. The, th the thinner bezels give this a much more prettier aesthetic. In my opinion, oh my God, these milk yellows are very much in there. <laughs> when are my obscures coming back in stock? Soon. I don't have an exact date, unfortunately, guys. I would probably say early summer, if anything. Look out for early summer. 
Again, I do not recommend putting in switches like this for hot swap, but just for the sake of saving some time today. It is, again, might also be because of the copper bottom, but. Wow. So this is the milky yellow. Here, milky yellow on DNF. I still, you know what? I'm kind of vibing with the full travel a little bit, but it's just nicer, like it's lighter to me. And that's the Obscura on the space bar. Milky yellow, Obscura, milky yellow. JK on this, Obscuras on the Envoy. The Envoy, however, just so everyone's aware, look how much flex is on the Envoy versus the 65. There is a lot more movement and this is a softer overall typing experience on the Envoy versus these, this keyboard. Ooh, I actually much prefer the Gateron Milky Yellow for the space bar. So a bit of a, a bit of a typing difference as well. If you guys like super soft, perhaps Envoy is still the move. But if you guys like kind of in the middle, oh yeah, I, I the milky yellow hits different today. The milky yellow, definitely my vibe. Why would you want your keyboard to flex that much? Um, some people just like softer typing experiences. Firmer typer experience, firmer typing experiences sometimes are a bit fatiguing. And um, the way, the best way I can explain that is if you ever have a top mount keyboard or even a gasket mounted keyboard where the um, the mounts are placed right under the space bar, for example, you'll probably notice versus one that doesn't have that, that your thumb gets less tired. But everyone's a bit different, right? The stream deck's about to fall. It's always been here, guys. It's not going to fall. Uh, I use TX, but I'd rather use deskies. I just didn't have any deskies on me today. I thought I had some, but all my packs are empty. All right, well, that's the stream. Um, we'll do a PC plate afterwards. Pretty exciting. We kind of talked about everything. I won't touch upon it again, just because I feel like we're gonna, I'm saying it like 15,000 times now, but if you guys want my full thoughts, uh, I'd say watch the VOD. Um, pretty nice. Face cam is diff. I know. I'm not very happy with the face cam right now, but I unfortunately don't have a Fuji camera to put up there. It's just an older Sony camera. I apologize, guys. Oh, wait. Now that all that background rumble's gone. Hold on. I'm going to do another sound test for you guys, okay? We'll do one more sound test here. One more sound test with no background rumble from all the machines that were outside. All right. Let's plug it in too, because you know, I think I'm gonna end up using this for a bit. Oh, small note, if you're using a connector with a big cable, it does impact the case ever so slightly. So just as a small note for big, thick connectors on cables like this one. Still turns on though, so we're okay. It sounds great.
Yeah, like, I liked him in the Ori a lot, and, I mean, I just like milky yellows in general. I like these springs, too, the stock springs, oddly enough. Again, sound-wise, this all sounds very uniform, very even. There's no hot spots anywhere. None that I can tell, anyways. I'll let you guys be the judge. We'll kind of go everything over one more time here. Oh, sorry. I'll unplug it. And then the front height was about 19, 19.5. So uh, if you guys are into a shorter front height, perhaps this board's a bit of a pass for you, but it was about 19 for the front height. That is perfectly fine for me. As I've always told you guys, when I hit 20, 20 is my, my end of line, like 20 is no longer comfortable. Well, past 20 is no longer comfortable for me, but 19, 19 and a half is just hitting that precipice, but it's fine. Like I, I can still comfortably use a 19 and a half uh, millimeter front height. However, I encourage mode to maybe perhaps try for lower front heights in future iterations of their keyboards. They're very comfortable. Uh, it, it sounds good. Like I, I think you, if you go for like a, a different sound profile, it's a bit louder on your face. You go with the top mount of this, but yeah, it's turned out good. I really like this. It sounds very very nice i'm very happy with this all right guys i guess let's uh find someone to raid for tonight sunday photos oh shoot we we're supposed to do that before stream okay i'm i'm kind of sweating right now the, my room is very very warm let's do that i'm streaming in tomorrow so let's just do that tomorrow uh how many kilograms oh shoot um or my wood scales. I'll check that as well in the morning. I'm, I'm dying of heat, guys. We'll, we'll do uh, a weight thing tomorrow as well. Uh, road, ra raid Bokeh Bob. Dude, it's so warm in my house right now. He's fading quick. I need to get some like water ASAP as well, dude. All right. I hope this was informative, by the way, guys. I, I hope this answered some questions. You know, I tried to be as even about some of the small things as critical as I can about everything here, including like the standoffs, the weight. So I hope this was good. What Fuji camera are you using? Um, right now it's an XS20 and an XT3. I was using an XT4 and an XS10, but two of my Fuji cameras in the last like six, seven months have died. I don't know why. Uh, thank you guys. I appreciate the kind words. Hydrate? I don't think I have any. I have some water or sorry, I have some coffee. Me too. These are expensive fixes, unfortunately. All right, let's raid Bokeh Bob. You guys said Bokeh Bob streaming, so where is he? I don't see him online. Am I not following Bokeh Bob? Hold on. I'm not. This is Big Smoge. Oh, uh, this one is the one I need to click. Oh, the keyboard's not plugged in. That would help if it was plugged in. All right, guys, enjoy Bokeh Bob's stream. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in again. Really appreciate everyone. Uh, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I'm probably gonna go take a few pictures of this tonight, just cause, I don't know, I'm in the mood to take pictures right now. But I'm also gonna cool down for like an hour cause my, my house is I think like 26 degrees Celsius right now. Uh, we don't have AC right now, so. Take care, everyone. Bye, and talk to you tomorrow and the day after, or next time I see you. Thanks for everyone being here and just enjoying the, the vibe today. Appreciate you guys. Bye-bye.